Hello everyone and welcome back to Thimbles Threads and More's YouTube channel. Today I'm excited because I'm with a very dear friend who is like a big sister to me and she has a new machine, a Brother Stellar embroidery sewing and everything machine. So I'm going to, because I'm familiar with Brother products, I'm going to thread this baby before. Let's get started. So I have loaded a design right here is a two color heart. And so it shows all of the measurements and there's a uh, two colors and there we are. It is loaded and we're going to change the colors. Let's get started. We're going to put our thread right here. So first, we're going to put, oh, well, let's start with the red. And okay, and then this little disc is going to help keep your bobbin in place. Did y'all know that? I didn't know that for a long time. Felicia told me that. So let's get started with number one, up, over, number two, shows down, three, wraps around, you see I'm doing this with one hand, four, goes through that little hoop, five, it's just straight down, there's number six, five, it's just straight down. And you can see that bottom part with six. And then we come over to seven and around. And then over here on the side, I'm pulling this back. And I'm just going to come over here. Well, you didn't catch it. it didn't catch it. It didn't catch it. And pull that, and it just snapped my thread. And then I come over here, and I... Felicia is holding the thing, and we're going to just match this. Brother, I love brother for this. Automatic threading. Automatic threading. And then Felicia's going to pull that. That'll be her hand, you'll see, because she's not going to get on camera. And she pulled that, and there we go. We have already loaded our bobbin. It is not magnetic. It's just a regular bobbin. And voila, that is the Stale Air by Brother. And it is just beautiful. So I'm going to change the red to white. And I'm just going to pull off that cap because she and I are doing a practice and we've got a heart right there. So instead of just doing another video, I'm just adding to the one I've got. There it is. And I'm going to just take this spool off. And you know what we do if you've been doing this and even if you haven't. I'm just going to take this. Felicia, if you would, cut this red thread. And I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to just take my white thread and tie it off. I'm going to put my cap back on. It keeps the thread from coming off. And Felicia, if you would, you want to tie this for me, please? Or you want me to do it? I'll show you when. Let me get this thread right first. Okay. And I'm just going to tie a knot so that you never have to completely re-thread this. And I'm just going to tie a knot and I'm just going to pull it tight. It's the same method I use with my six needle machine and the 15 needle i just tie it off they're all friendly to just tie them off rather than going through the new thimble threads like so and then i go down here and i just pull it 
and then you'll see that white come through voila and then i just cut it so all i have to do is go back across there wrap it around number seven to the back and pull it forward and it's cut and then i'm gonna just thread it i'm gonna pull that to the back give me a little tail and then we're ready to go this button right here lowers the needle well not the needle lowers the presser foot it's now green we're ready to stitch and it's gonna make the little dots you'll see and then i'll cut the tail off see It should have cut it. I don't like that it's not cutting. But there we are. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Please visit our web page. Thanks for stopping by the YouTube channel. Please join others to subscribe and come back to see us soon.